Hey guys, Jano Zero. I got some uh, dehydrated fruits here that I did. I don't know if you can see on the bag or not. I did them last year. Is that in the shot? Yeah. Last year, this month. So they've been in these bags dehydrated for a year. Now the reason that I did that is because I know there's a lot of information out there. A lot of videos on dehydrating and how long the stuff lasts and uh, and so on and so forth. But I'm always the kind of person I want to see for myself. Uh, I want to see for myself and know for sure that you know it is what it is. So we got some pineapples, we got some pears, and we got some banana chips. And uh, one year inside the Ziploc bag. I know a lot of people store them in canning jars uh, and so on and so forth. But uh, looking at the bag, these have just been up in the cabinet. Where we where we store our can stuff at, so it's not you know there's no light and stuff like that gets in there. No, uh, it, it's a it's pretty much a controlled environment. So what we got is banana chips, and I don't see any mold. And it smells like bananas. I don't know if you guys can see in there or not. Let me where's the camera thing at? There it is. There's no mold. They look good. A little leathery. But uh, not as crisp as what they were. But I think that's okay. That smells good. I don't smell any kind of rot going on. Let's try one. Mmm. Tastes like banana chip. Same thing with the pineapple. See any mold? Nothing like that. Mm. So this stuff is still good after being dehydrated a year ago this month. Now, what that tells me is that once I get my fruit trees and stuff like that uh, established and up and up and going and producing fruit these are pears by the way uh, that every year we can dehydrate fruit and it'll last us to the next harvest that way every year uh, God willing we will be able to uh, harvest the fruits dehydrate them and set them aside and that'll last us through the winter time and the spring and the early summer until they start producing again. And uh, I'm sure it would be the same with uh, stuff out of the out of the uh, the garden. Uh, we do uh, dehydrate zucchini chips and stuff. They didn't make it because we ate them all. <laughs> but you know, tomatoes and zucchinis and all kind of stuff that's dehydrated will. Now I know for sure that it will last once we harvest it and dehydrate it. It'll last us through till the next year. So that is good to know. And I just wanted to, to share that with you guys. Going to be doing some more uh, preserving experiments. I still am not done trying to figure out how the old timers used to uh, preserve and store meat and charcoal. I'm going uh, to get it figured out though. And when I do, I'll share that with you all. Because that's a big important uh, part of you know the, the, the on our own lifestyle that we're trying to do is uh, to be able to grow and produce the food and preserve it that will get us through the winter and the spring until next year when we start uh, again with the uh, gardening and, uh, and harvesting and stuff like that. So we got to be able to make this stuff last for a year uh, once we harvest it. And we're doing, of course, you know, everybody knows about canning. And now I know for sure that dehydrating works. And uh, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and uh, give you my two cents about it. And this stuff is very flavorful still. It tastes good, and uh, I'm liking it. So there you go, guys. I uh, wanted to share that with you. Um, if you got any tips, uh, yeah, feel free to leave them in the comment section for everybody to see. I really dig it when you guys uh, uh, who are really experienced in, a, in, in something, you know, give your advice and, and give everybody your knowledge down in the comments. That's really cool, and I really appreciate that. That's, uh, that's awesome. That's what we're all about. You know, all of us who are trying to uh, 
do the, the homesteading or the prepping or the, uh, the on our own type of living is uh, we all got to help each other out and learn while we can. So, anywho, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day. God bless me. And buzz, buzz, the end.